Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September, Aries, and see what your tarot horoscope reading is today, all right? So be sure to check out the monthly tarot reading. Pick a card reading that I have on the top right-hand corner of your screen right now, Aries, and let's begin your tarot reading today, all right? And be sure, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, to let me know in the comments below how it resonates, because that's how I keep up with you guys here, uh, Aries, just through the comments. So we have the Ace of Wands coming in here in the back of the deck for you, Aries. What you need to understand at this time, Aries, because I feel like right now for you, you're in the spot where you are going through some type of dysmorphia, where what you see in the mirror is not reality to what everyone else sees, whether this is like through your body or whether this is like maybe you have a low self-esteem for what it is that you offer mentally or emotionally. All right, uh, Aries, I feel like you just are not thinking as highly of yourself as you need to all right because the reality is i see a strong attraction towards you there's energies that are finding you i mean in this sense in a social way uh aries the ace of wands is a card of lust people see you and they're just really attracted to just i feel like it's just something with your energy it's like they're attracted to your power the confidence that you um at least that you project outwardly but again internally i do get this sense of where it's like I don't feel like you would struggle with yourself, Aries, and saying, so like, oh yeah, I'm insecure about X, Y, and Z, right? Everyone has insecurities, right? But I feel like you're able to acknowledge them, but how you present yourself, Aries, is still something that a lot of people deem as confident and attractive, right? So you might say, it's like, oh, I'm not confident whatsoever. But the fact of the matter is, like, how other people are seeing you is what you are, all right? Not reality. It's not always the case, right? Especially, <laughs> it's not always the case, but uh, Aries, I do you see the sense of being a little bit too critical of yourself i also feel like you're going to be really inspired at this time yeah a six of swords coming in here something's going to be inspiring you uh aries with this ace of wands it's like something is gaining your attraction and it's going to be t having it so it's like it's pulling you away from one place to another you might already start having those symptoms of where it's like you're feeling maybe bored with a certain relationship bored with the work thing there's something that i feel like you're just kind of underwhelmed by like you haven't like something hasn't lit your flame like something that's coming to you in the coming days has before right and three of cups coming in as well in a social way here capricorn why am i wanting to call you capricorn in a social way aries this is straight up a situation where it's like if you're getting out of a friendship like maybe like a friend group dynamic or a relationship or whatever the case is in a social way this is straight up a situation where it's like someone that you already are familiar with or has some feelings for you all right and i'll just leave it like that because i don't want to make my entire reading about that type of situation but for others of you uh aries i feel like for you it's like you haven't had a win in a long time and you're going to be really celebrating this win it may not be the biggest win that you ever had in your life but i feel like it it marks this period it marks a sign for you where it's just like oh finally like it's my turn to finally reap in some abundance again rather than always having struggles that's what i see this as aries where it's just like you're finally able to celebrate a win because you haven't had a win in your life in a long time it's always like every time you pick up the phone uh aries it's always like a bill collector but this time when you pick up the phone it's like congratulations da 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 da, da. so what are you celebrating <clears throat> knight of cups <sighs> aries i try to avoid it sterling i try to avoid it oh we'll have to just do it both sides here knight of cups here page of swords in the back of the deck oh aries <laughs> we got so much to unpack here good it's a good message by the way i know you might hear my reaction be like oh i can't tell that's good velka it's absolutely good but it's just there's we're gonna have a lot to unpack so stick around sterling because there's a lot of mess deep messages here knight of cups four pentacles here this is what it is that you're celebrating in a social way uh aries i have to talk about it because it keeps on coming out here this way in a social way you're going to be having some new connection coming forward to you approaching you and it's going to be a connection that um I don't want to say reminds you of what it is that you last got out of, especially if you recently are getting out of a relationship or a friendship or a grant. I really, for some reason, get the sense of a friend group, uh, Aries. I get the sense here where it's like you're leaving, you're exiting one group or one social situation and this next new social situation comes in here. So it's like you don't even have time to be sad or to mourn a situation for too long because it's like someone sees Page of Swords energy. It's like their choice or their time to approach you, right? In a social way, 
hate disorder is like someone having an interest in you but not quite communicating what it is that's going on internally now from a outside of social standpoint here uh aries this is a situation where the knight of cups represents an opportunity coming forward to you where you could invest your energy into it so it's like a in a new investment opportunity a new job position type of opportunity where it's like you're celebrating the opportunity of being able to be like oh hey like aries you could have this new uh, position at work here you know and it'll have really good benefits what have you that's what you're celebrating it's like a good win but let's get more detail on that for more from an um from a point and it's definitely something you've had your eye on page of swords by the way i want to mention that it's like that's how it interacts in a non-social way where it's like something that you've been shooting for for a while um or, and i don't feel like it's something in specific right i don't it's like you wanted like some type of promotion or just like to elevate you like your finances or just you know you want to the next step of your growth or of your progression i don't feel like you cared too much of what it looked like you just wanted the growth and so the opportunity is definitely coming in here uh areas in the coming days where uh you can start chasing after it justice energy coming in here so if you're you already been putting in this work here for that that's why you've kept your eye on a page of swords so it's like aries for you i get the sense of whatever it is that you already started putting more work into i feel six of wands as well Ooh. so aries if you've been and i feel like this is like starts out as like a side thing right so it's like for you aries what is that new passion for you as an ace of wands okay this is how i see the story as for you all right what's going to be drawing you as this ace of wands what's going to be attracting you at this time because one six of wands my favorite card represents public recognition getting a lot of attention ace of wands here it's like you start you receive attention you receive an opportunity for like a side hustle thing right it's not like your main gig but it's something that you put energy into and you're just like oh, okay maybe at some point in time like i'll put five i'll put a little bit of money into this stock here see how it turns out all right with that four of pentacles it seems like a good opportunity waiting for it to play out it comes back and you it, you actually are celebrating a major win because it's like it's like a newfound passion you know how you hear from like your favorite content creators where it's like they're able to like quit their job finally and go full-time to content creation because there's just like a opportunity that happened that allowed them to give them that new sense of freedom that's how i see this as for you and it's something that you've been steadily putting the work into uh aries and just hoping at some point in time is going to pay off here and it absolutely does so if you have been putting in the work consistently aries with situations that maybe for a while like have started to become stale because there you haven't seen the growth or progression that you would like to see maybe in your workplace you're just like putting in all these extra hours but you're just like all right is it really worth it because i'm not really my paychecks are slightly bigger but you know why am i working this hard here i feel like give it a little bit more time here uh aries in september you're going to be so glad that you put in all this extra time and energy for this because you're going to be celebrating that win all right with people all right so you definitely receive some extremely positive news that sparks this new passion for you that motivates you to keep on creating to keep on pushing yourself Let's continue on here, Aries. You have lost in space, needing direction here. Needing direction, lost in space. Let's get a card for that. I feel like I already know the direction for it, but I just want to clarify. I'll just tell you, I'll have you hear my uh, internal thoughts here. How I see this initially of like needing direction. I feel like the direction is going to be given to you with that ace of wands, where it's like you're kind of stumbling through life, but you gain a new sense of purpose with that ace of wands and be like, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to go into content creation full time. Obviously, we replace that with whatever, but let me just double check here. Six of pentacles. Yeah, this is that sense of where it's like you put your feelers out there you put your and notice this theme here with the scales by the way the six of pentacles in the justice energy so needing direction here how you're going to find that direction in your life aries is by experimenting start and in putting your investments into situations and seeing how the scales react to it all right and when you start putting energy into something don't just push like you know i see that happen all the time on youtube people like post a couple videos on youtube and expect those to be the telltale sign of if they should keep going or not when it's like darling you need to keep on at the game right that's how i see it is for you uh aries is that you find the direction by putting energy sinking energy into things don't wait don't wait for direction before you start investing energy 
start it now does that make sense for you aries so now let's get another oracle card for you <laughs> great big love here now again aries how i see this as initially and something i really am trying to avoid personally just for my own bias right i see this in a way where it's like especially from the social setup here all right i see love seems to be a really big option for you opportunity for you um in september intuitively i feel like it would be like a situation that's already somewhat familiar to you not like someone that's completely new like they're a stranger to you as you're receiving this reading sort of thing like i do feel like there is some type of familiar energy but again this is what tarot is for let's clarify this three of pentacles all right so definitely again i'm not going to put the labels on what type of love this is cap <laughs> again with the capricorn aries uh, i'm not going to put the label on what type of connection this great big love is could be family could be business related right especially with this three of pentacles um it seems to be a main focus in on uh partnerships that have you feeling really good all right i see you starting to get more confidence allowing your wings to start spreading further aries in the coming days i see for you as well the sense of where it's like you're able to express yourself fully ace of pentacles as well coming in the back of the deck that's something i get with this here uh aries is like this ability for you to finally express yourself comfortably this sense of where you feel really satisfied with your environment because you feel appreciated, you feel loved. And not only are you able to chase after your passion, but that passion pays you, right? You're not, you're not following the starving artist story. Ten of Cups, like, yeah, you're cut, you have everything that you need. You have the family, you have the work, you have everything, you have it all, Aries. All right. You have a lot of good energy coming in for you in the coming days. But what is the blockage here? Right. Even I even acknowledge this blockage, because as I said that, like I look at the back of the deck and it's the five of wands. What is the blockage here? OK, first card that came out, the sun card. <laughs> Aries, you can't. This is the best card in the tarot deck. You can't really get better than this. So what does spirit want you to like? go over because it's like you have so much goodness in the coming days for you what do you need to overcome what do you need to work on aries to claim this beautifulness here right queen of pentacles putting yourself first putting yourself first the chariot energy and then that ten of pentacles wow <sighs> Putting yourself first, Aries, when it comes to your life, no longer self-sacrificing. Don't confuse the more don't confuse love with self-sacrificing. You can love somebody without having to sacrifice something within yourself every single time that you show love. All right. Also, I uh, feel like for you, the main blockage that you need to have, Aries, uh, that you need to address, not to have, is the sense of like where you feel like you deserve it almost. All right. Maybe you don't feel like you deserve this certain level because you're uncomfortable with the idea of having a lot of money or how to get that money. Right. I do feel like there's this sense of like, this is not a situation where you can fake it till you make it type of energy, uh, Aries. This is the type of situation where it's like you have to fully know in yourself how like working on this confidence here, even the emperor card in the back of the deck here. It's like this sense of like, I don't want to say you're holding yourself back from your uh, this abundance here, Aries. I just feel like you just need to wake up and realize your greatness and believe in your greatness. And it's like everything else starts to follow after. King of Swords, having more confidence in who you are, what it is you're able to create. A page of Wands, Eight of Wands coming in here. Yeah, ultimately here, Aries, and this might be an annoying message to hear, darling, right? <laughs> but I don't feel like any other cards is going to add anything to this reading at this point in time. Ultimately, it's your decision here of when you're going to take action, Aries. It's ultimately your decision in trusting your instincts, trusting your intelligence to go forward with the ideas that come forward to you, to go forward with just i don't know i feel like you need to sell yourself better i feel like you need to even believe in yourself especially with this king of swords i feel like you need to believe internally for yourself of your value like i feel like you need to get comfortable with your voice i feel like you need to get have more confidence in just what you provide mentally 
which is a really weird specific message, but that's the only way I can really put this here, uh, Aries. I feel like I would be able to unpack this so much more if I like was sitting down with you privately because there's just so much energy here that I want to unpack, but it's impossible. So let's get into my favorite part of y'all's reading here today, Aries. Let's do our quote. All right. So here it comes. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is the highest good. I'm going to say this again, Aries, before I start talking. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. All right, so let's unpack that first portion here. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. That dysmorphia that we already were talking about, where you feel like everyone's going to see you as a failure if you start speaking out, where you need to start getting comfortable, Aries, with the sense of that you have a voice that has some value that people can learn from, right? Having that confidence where it's just like, not like the moment you open your mouth, like, like not everyone's going to see you as some imposter. That's something that internally you got to unpack, right? The next portion. Thank you for expanding my perception so I can see what is of the highest good. All right. Thank you for expanding my perception. Perception of yourself, your reality, your environment, so that you can see what is of the highest good for you, Aries. All right. And so you have to understand that... You have to be willing to change, challenge your perception of how you see yourself, right? In order to accept anything of a higher value for yourself, rather than taking certain fights, whatever someone says to you that hurts you, whatever obstacles that you've dealt with, whatever failures that have happened to you, Aries, rather than seeing it from like a potentially victimized place where you're just like, oh, I wasn't good enough. I wasn't uh, pretty enough for that relationship. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Stop internalizing it. To Aries and rather see it as a redirection rather than internalizing it and making it about you Aries you see this as a gift from the universe from your spiritual team what have you as a way to teach you something to redirect you from something or to help you avoid something all right it doesn't have to be one specific one it doesn't have to be all of them but it is it is something that you have to <sighs> accept in yourself Aries you're way too hard on yourself all right you're way 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 too hard on yourself so I love you so much I'm going to leave you with that Aries because I feel like I've been a little bit aggressive with you but um I love you so much and I'll connect with you sometime in the near future darling all right bye Aries <laughs>